What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you some more Facebook Marketplace sales that I recently had. I did mention a while back that I am selling a little bit more on Facebook Marketplace than I have been on eBay, but I'm still listing things on eBay and still selling things, and I will mention those whenever those sales do come. But today is gonna to be focused on Facebook Marketplace sales and the items that I did sell recently. Up first, if you guys did remember a while back, I did purchase a lot of Beanie Boos plush and they have been sitting for a while and I decided to finally list them on Facebook Marketplace and I did get my first sale. Somebody bought three of the plush, $5 each, that is $15 that they paid. I'm still about $30 shy of breaking even, but at this point, I'm just trying to get rid of them as quickly as I can and even if I just end up donating them and taking the loss, I honestly just want to get rid of them. But finally, one sale did come through three are sold that is fifteen dollars i made on this sale which is awesome because i did have one fail a while back where i did sell one on ebay and it cost twenty dollars to ship but i only charged ten dollars to ship so i did have my first loss on ebay so as soon as that happened i took them all down off of ebay and i finally listed them and ones did sell on facebook marketplace so Hopefully I get a few more to sell. If not, I end up just donating the lots. That is likely what I'm going to do, but at least I got a couple sales out of it. Next is the Xbox 360 that if you guys remember a long time ago, I purchased from a thrift store for I think it was 27, almost $30 with taxes included. So I paid $30 for this Xbox 360. It was missing the hard drive. It was missing the uh, there's no controller with it. Now I was able to plug it in, connect it to the TV and make sure it did work. It works great, but there's no controller. There's no external hard drive. So I ended up just listing it on Facebook Marketplace for $40, thinking somebody's gonna counter with 30 and I would have took it just to break even on it and get this out of my house. But somebody did purchase it for $40. That was $10 profit on this transaction, something that's been sitting for months. I had it listed on eBay for parts. I had it listed on eBay and nobody purchased it. Nobody bid on it. I've had it listed for a really long time. Took it down off of eBay, listed on Facebook Marketplace, and within two days, somebody purchased it. And to the point that I made $10 profits, that was awesome when it's something that's been sitting for months. Finally, glad to see it gone. The next item is some more sports games, the Xbox 360 sports games that I had sitting since November. I've had them accumulating di through different uh, lots that I've purchased for video games. Any of the sports games I pull out, put them all together because they're really hard to sell. I can't sell them on eBay individually. Nobody really wants them unless they're a collector and nobody has been wanting them when I have them included in bundles. They was asked to swap out the uh, sports game. So I decided just to bundle them together. I couldn't get anything on eBay for them. So I listed them on Facebook Marketplace and somebody finally took my offer. I listed them for $10 for I think the Xbox, there was 10 or 12 games. That's around a dollar or less per game. I just wanted them gone. That freed up a lot more space in my inventory and it's stuff that's been sitting mainly since November. I'm glad to see it gone finally. Even if it was only $10, I honestly would have just gave them away. If nobody purchased them or the PS3 ones for $10 for each lot, I honestly probably would have just donated them to a thrift store or something like that just to get them out of the house. But somebody did buy them for $10 and I'm happy just to see them gone. And the final Facebook sale was somebody that purchased from me before. They purchased some of the $5 games that I was selling. Now they finally purchased some of my more expensive PlayStation 3 games. And if you guys remember a while back, I did have Family Guy and two Spider-Man games. They purchased those and they sent me an offer that honestly I felt like at first when I purchased them, I could have got a lot more for them. No bites on eBay at all. I had all three games listed on eBay. One actually sold, but they ended up not paying. So I ended up having to cancel it, which did suck. But the two Spider-Man games, the sole comps on those were between $70 and $90 each. I've had them listed for a really long time. No bites, no offers, no nothing. I took them down off of that, off of eBay, listed them on Facebook for $50 each. And this guy reached out. He said, would you take $35 each game? That's $70 total. For both the Spider-Man games, I decided just to get them gone. That's still great money on these games. Yes, I'll take that offer. Then he's seen that I had the Family Guy game. 
and he offered me $20. I think I had it listed for $30 and the sold comps on eBay were 30, but again, it has not sold on eBay. I had it listed for months, even on promoted listings. I ended up just accepting his offer of $20 just to get it gone. And then he's seen two of my other games. He offered me $5 each. That was WWE Legends of WrestleMania and Twisted Metal for the PlayStation 3. I decided yes, just take his offer. That is a total of $100 and he e-transferred me the money a couple days before we planned on even meeting. So he was very honest, he did trust me, which he's bought for me before, so he has no reason not to. So he did e-transfer me the $100, and then we ended up meeting a couple days later, and I gave him the games, and he was more than happy, and I was honestly happy because that was a $100 sale. Games that were more high-end in my inventory, and there are also ones that have been sitting for months. So somebody finally purchased them, a little bit less than I was hoping for, but still amazing profit. Two games, $35 each, and a $20 game, I'll take that. They've been sitting for months. I was wanting to get for the Spider-Man games around 50, but I'll take 35 just to get them gone, and that's still amazing profit for me. Facebook Marketplace has been great to get rid of some more of the stuff that I've been listing on eBay for months, and that hasn't sold listing it on Facebook and selling it maybe a little bit less than I would have listed it for on eBay, but still I don't have to deal with shipping, eBay returns, or any fees and list it on Facebook and get it sold. So that's how I've been doing things lately. eBay's been really slow, but Facebook has been picking up, which is great. And I can't wait to share more stuff with you guys, whether it's Facebook, eBay, or anything with my buying and selling business, including the comic books that I did mention in the last video. I'm gonna be going through them a lot more, listing a lot more on eBay and sharing all of that with you guys as well. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy me talking about anything that I purchase or sell for the business, kind of a breakdown of fees or anything. Since this is a Facebook marketplace, there's no fees, no shipping, and I don't have to really break down as much, but my eBay videos, I try to do more breakdowns because that's what you guys seem to enjoy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys enjoyed this content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.